So virtual reality is a game changer for higher education and at TRU and the Faculty of Arts we are pioneering the use of VR in the classroom by immersing students into environments that they couldn't normally experience in such a classroom. Dr. Michael Mehta, Professor of Geography and Environmental Studies at Thompson Rivers University is taking online learning to the next level. For example, let's say we wanted to teach students about recycling and waste disposal. I can take them to a dump site in real time right there with the VR headsets and we can go and explore the issues and we can talk about those things. The professor is using virtual reality headsets to give students an in-depth understanding of course material. With a headset like this, this is a standard VR headset, you're placed into a completely new immersive environment where you learn about specifically um, things that you wouldn't be able to do in a classroom. Meta says virtual reality technology will allow students to gain hands-on experience that wouldn't be feasible in real life learning. One of the things about VR that's really a game changer is the ability also in certain fields like medicine, nursing, engineering, electronics, you name it, you know, the sciences more generally, to actually do virtual labs as well. So there's a huge advantage there in terms of cost savings, but in also terms of breaking down some of the barriers that smaller universities have. We don't have a lot of flexibility in a university class to take people on, on field trips or field schools. So this is a, a really powerful tool for being able to do that. In addition to breaking down learning barriers, Meta says VR takes remote learning in a whole new direction. Zoom is useful, but it's also horrible and fatiguing. <laughs> And it's not necessarily the best way to get across information. It's fine for conveying certain kinds of things like, like facts, but it's not really good for, for discussion. It's not really good for creative endeavors. The virtual reality programming lets classmates interact with each other like they would in a real classroom. With virtual reality, we're able to move out of that Hollywood Squares kind of environment of Zoom into an environment where actually we are you know, together in a somewhat real kind of way because every individual is represented by a 3D moving realistic avatar and of course we're able to communicate, do small group work and do a lot of things that you could do in a traditional classroom but you can ramp it up times 10 if you want. This month students taking Meta's fourth year environmental sustainability course will be the first on-campus class to use the VR tech but if Meta has it his way they won't be the last to strap on the goggles at TRU. For Castanet Kamloops, I'm Sydney Chisholm.